If you are interested in crime stories, well, Diane Diamond has a new show. It is called ID Presents 9 at 9, where she investigates all of the big top headlines of crime stories that have happened recently. Here's more. Today I have the opportunity to catch up with investigative journalist Diane Diamond. She is behind the new series we are talking all about, Discovery ID Presents 9 at 9. Diane, thanks for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. So I'm looking forward to hearing more about Investigative Discovery's ID Presents 9 at 9. Tell me about some of these very high-profile Hollywood cases, such as Brittany Murphy, that you're investigating on the series. Well, we do have high-profile Hollywood stories like Brit Brittany Murphy, but we also have other ones as well over nine different nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the Brit Brittany Murphy story is fascinating because here was an up-and-coming movie star. Uh, this girl was so talented, and at the age of 32, she is found dead on her bathroom floor. Um, a lot of people think the culprit behind it might have been her husband, Simon Monjack, a, a, a British citizen. Her girlfriends called him the con man. But other people, like her father, thinks that it wasn't natural causes that caused her death at 32, but deliberate poisoning. So we take you inside all of the texture, all of the different threads that go through her story, and then you decide. Very intriguing. And you mentioned it's not mm. just Hollywood stories, but really these high profile crimes such as Jeffrey Epstein. You also go into Epstein's situation as well. Right, right. You know, uh, of all the nine uh, specials that we're bringing you, and this is Jeffrey Dahmer, the BTK killer, uh, stories that you've heard about, I think. Jeffrey Epstein might be my, my favorite in that it's so intriguing. Jeffrey Epstein came from very modest beginnings but became a billionaire and then, of course, was accused of pedophilia on a grand scale. We bring you some information about him that you may not have heard. An uh, uh, interview with a woman who in 1995 reported him to police that he had sexually attacked her and her 15-year-old sister. Nothing was done. but. Flash forward, we take you inside his jail cell where he died, and you decide what do you think happened. Did he really kill himself, or did some of his high-powered friends spread some money around and make sure somebody came into that cell and did it for him and staged it to look like suicide? Now you are balancing a lot of different cases, highlighting some of the most riveting headline-making stories. How do you keep everything straight, and how do you remain <laughs> positive after hearing all of these brutal details? Boy, that's a great question. I sometimes ask that of myself, and I, I have to admit that there are nights that I lay my head down on the pillow and I can't sleep because I can't stop thinking about, like, how did Jeffrey Epstein get away with it for so long? How did the BTK killer kill so many people as a serial killer in and around his area and his wife didn't know and his children didn't know. So, you know, it's all about balance. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother now. I like to garden, I have two cats. So I try to keep my life in balance, but sometimes it gets a little tough. It does. It must, you know, people are really intrigued by these stories. How can we watch more? Where can we see this? Well, uh, check your local listings for Investigation Discovery. Right now, we're doing a promotion 9 at 9. So at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, you'll see all brand new stories. And again, it's not just the glitterati. There's a story about a missing housewife in Connecticut. She left her five children behind. Where is Jennifer Dulos? There's a story about a little seven-year-old boy in Portland, Oregon, Kyron Horman. Uh, we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of his death. The last person to see him, his stepmother. So That's again, right. we hope by bringing you these stories, you can form your own opinions about what you think happened and really get an inside look on human behavior. So do you think audiences will be left curious, intrigued, more questions, less questions? Where, where do you hope that your viewers mm -hmm. will be after they finish watching an episode? I think, I think one thing that Investigation Discovery does, unlike other uh, outlets, is we really take the time to tell a story so that you don't go away with any questions. 
at least we get you the answers that are available at the time. There's a, a, a case in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, about a young girl named Heather Elvis, who was murdered in her off-campus apartment. They have the murder weapon. They have the man's DNA. They've even gotten a composite from the DNA of what he looks like. This is the, this is the culprit right here. But they haven't found him yet. So how long will it take to get justice for her family? So I, I hope that people come away knowing that just because a case hasn't been solved doesn't mean it won't be. Absolutely. Well, intriguing. Thanks so much, Diane mm -hmm. Diamond, for joining us today. Looking forward to watching Investigative Discoveries ID presents 9 at 9. Again, thanks for talking with us here at Park City Television today. Oh, my pleasure. Stay safe, everybody.